and welcome future dolphins. Congratulations on your recent admission to our school. My name is Jeanette and I'm a fourth year student here at CSU Channel Islands. Today we will be highlighting performing arts, the theater emphasis. And here with us today, we have some professors in the performing arts theater department here at CSU Channel Islands. Hello professors, how are you doing today? Great, doing how great. are you? Doing great, thank you so much for joining us today. Before we get started, please introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about the emphasis. All right, I, I'll go first. Um, I'm Dr. Catherine Scott Burris, but you could feel free to call me Catherine if you're comfortable with that, or Professor Burris or Dr. Burris if you're not. And I am the program coordinator for performing arts, but I teach mostly theater. I teach a lot of the acting courses. I teach the directing course. I also teach some of our core courses like the capstone, which is this culminating project and um, advanced collaboration pro um, workshop, which is a kind of preparatory thing for the capstone and other uh, great things that we have on hand. So, and I also teach a lot of the sort of um, theater studies and dramatic literature courses. And I'm Laura Kovalt and I'm a lecturer in theater. And I teach the um, Teaching Drama to Children, which is the education drama class. Um, and a lot of uh, credential students take it as well as uh, theater students and students from all different majors. Uh, I also teach a lot of the theater history and um, direct quite a few of the shows. And I direct, we all direct um, and we like to collaborate a lot, which is great fun. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> So to start us off, what are the most popular courses, major, minor options that you can have? Sure. So those acting courses are really popular. We have several levels and um, they range from a bunch of different types of techniques. And really we try it to kind of discover the strengths in each person as an actor and help you discover uh, more about your instrument, your body, your mind, your voice to become the most powerful performer that you can and um, help you get there. So those are really popular. Laura, do you wanna talk about something else? Sure, yeah. Um, well, the, the teaching drama to children class that I just mentioned is really popular, um, not just because it's a requirement for teacher people in the education program, but also because um, it's super practical. We're in there learning the exercises that, that you can use in your classroom, talking about how you can adapt them different ways. Um, and so I have a lot of people who find that it really useful is even um, some of the psychology students, we learn how to like adapt some of the lessons for if they're going to be um, working with children um, or teens. And so that one is really popular. And the, the online theater history courses are also really popular because uh, uh, it's it's a really fun, interesting way to look at history through a different lens. Yeah, we have a lot of um, really interesting topical classes in the upper division um, as well that um, offer a bunch of different lenses that are really popular with people within the theater emphasis and also across the university. That sounds great. Is there any type of academic background that a student should have when entering the program? Well, sure. You know, there are lots of different strengths that um, focusing on theater in your undergraduate career can build up in you. So um, it's more important that you have, rather than any particular set of skills, that you are open to experimentation and you're curious and you are um, interested in learning. So a passion for learning, a willingness to learn and understanding that you can learn, that you can develop all these different strengths. Uh, those are really the attitudes and the skills that, that we need from our students, because then we can take wherever you're at. Like if you are a really strong writer, we will build on that towards uh, writing for the theater or writing about the theater. If you need work on writing, then we will help you along in that direction. If you're really good on your feet, thinking on your feet, speaking as many theater people are, right? But not everybody, 
then, you know, we'll take that and push you to the next level there. If you're really good at creating and coming up with concepts and designing and ideas and things like that, we will give you paths to utilize those skills as well. So it's basically just like a willingness to learn and um, especially to risk and, um, and learn something new. That is absolutely crucial. That's how we operate in theater. That sounds great. And what types of opportunities are there to participate in hands-on learning in the program? Um, well, we've got a lot. Go ahead, Laura. You can take it. <laughs> um, well, we mentioned production, which we've all we all um, work on together quite a bit, and we do um, quite a few shows. We do plays, we do musicals. We have a production called Arts Under the Stars, which is across disciplines, collaboration through the whole university. Um, we also give students the opportunity to have take more leadership positions. Uh, I just worked on a play where I had a co-director, a student co-director, who not a student director. We we worked together. It was a complete collaboration between the two of us, which was really awesome. So um, lots of opportunities like that. For sure, and even in our you know more. Um, traditional like kind of lecture discussion courses because theater is not complete without imagining the artistic choices that would embody it on stage, right? Even if, when we are just reading plays or reading about theater and performance, we often have a creative or some other, um, you know, low stakes, but practical kind of hands-on assignment in those classes, because that is the best way to understand and to learn and to forward our knowledge about this stuff. That all sounds really amazing. What types of jobs do graduates normally seek upon graduation? We actually have a really wide variety of directions that our graduates have gone in. So the, the kind of obvious ones we have graduates working in, um, in New York, in the theater, uh, behind the scenes, in front of the scenes. So we have several working actors. Um, we have actors who are, are working locally and regionally. Um, and we have students who have gone on to theater graduate programs um, in theater studies or acting, um, who've even gone on to MFAs and, and have ended up teaching as part of that or teaching um, locally, I'll let Laura talk about um, a little bit of that. But before I get to that, also we have a lot of other disciplines that our students go into because it really prepares people for a lot of different um, ways to engage and understand the human condition, right? Uh, so we have a lot of students who go on to do graduate school in psychology and become therapists of one form or another. We have students who, um, of course, go into teaching, but in a, a credential, right, to, to teach um, in multiple subject or at various different levels. Yeah, absolutely. And we, you know, we mentor our students and and um, help them out um, making, con using our connections with people we know. And um, one of our students is now teaching drama um, through my theater company. So there's, we really take people under our wing who, you know, have career goals. We, we, we have students come and talk with us about grad school because we have such a small community on campus. We're able to really build relationships with students where we can have these big talks about um, what they want to do when they graduate. Yeah, there's a lot of one-on-one -on -one tension because we're such a small program. So that's one thing we really try and tailor the experience and, and build up relationships with our students. Definitely. And I know you touched briefly about um, graduate school and graduate programs. So how would your program prepare students for graduate school? Well, yep. Like I said, we we hit a lot of those skills that graduate schools and employers too are looking for in their graduates. So we focus on both critical and creative and conceptual thinking skills. Um, collaborating is a huge, huge set of skills and that is at the core of what we do in the theater, right? Um, and we do that in even our sort of non um, stage oriented courses, right? And so we also obviously focus on performance skills, but oral and written communication skills in various 
you know, medium media. And um, we have these small studio classes that again, allow the instructors to really kind of help the students discover their strengths and build on those strengths in, in a range of kind of a global and American um, histories and performance traditions. So that it's not just like one sort of set of techniques. Thank you. And as we start to wrap up our conversation here, is there any general advice that you could offer to students who are just beginning their studies at CSUCI? Oh, absolutely. Well, first of all, theater is a place where we just embrace everybody. And uh, once you get involved, you're just going to want to come back because friendships are formed that are just so strong. Uh, we get a lot of students who are minoring or who, who turn into a major who are a completely different major who decide to switch or do a double major or minor because of how what a warm community of the theater can be. So um, definitely joining productions, just taking any any of our classes, you're going to find that um, pretty much all of our classes have a very community collaborative feel to them. Um, everybody ends up being friends. Um, and also joining clubs on campus. Our, we have a drama club, but all other clubs too. When you're new to campus, joining a club is really a great way to make friends. So it, it can be hard when you first come to a new campus to step out of your comfort zone in any way. But if you do and you step out of your comfort zone to try a new experience such as a club or a production or a class in theater that you might not have thought of taking, it's gonna be worth it because you're just gonna feel that much more comfortable and like feel that sense of community that we, we have on campus. It's really special. I have so many students who tell me time and time again, you know, that course, that production especially changed my life and I've made lifelong friends. And, you know, we, what we do is play. So it's really engaging and it can be, you know, it can really feed your whole being. Whereas, you know, in other disciplines and in your GEs and, and all that, you're gonna be working on a very sort of um, specific academic uh, level that you will get in theater as well, right? But that we also speak to the rest of you. And so we like to say we, we play really hard and we work really hard but it is all about that community. And that seems to be something that I, I echo Laura's advice, just let yourself reach out and try it and you'll find um, that you'll be embraced. Thank you. Thank you both so much for being with, being with us here today. And students, if you have any more questions about the Performing Arts Program, please visit go.csuci.edu slash academics. Bye, and we hope to see you in the fall.